You have no idea how heavy. 30 pounds of clothes is until you vacuum pack it. Old, my messy studio full of stuff that needs to be listed. Okay. All right. Are we ready? You ready to watch this? Entertaining. I'm actually surprised that this made it through like the whole flight and two weeks. What? Where'd you go? What? Oh yeah. I thought it was going to expand more. This is very anticlimactic. Hello, internet people. We're on another video of me in this dress. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, yeah, so this is my haul from going to Mississippi. Actually, this is just a part of it. I have another vacuum pack bag. But this is my favorite part. I got like part of the way through and I was like, oh, I gotta be able to fit it all back in my carry-on. And then it just like escalated. And at some point I was like, let's just lean in. Let's just get it. And so anything that was in my mind worth hauling back, I just, I just got it. So that's kind of like where we're at. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna pull stuff out of this bag. And almost all of this was purchased at the Goodwill outlet in Jackson. So what happened was I went down to, oh man, everything is gonna need steaming and washing. Um, so anyway, I went down to Jackson, um, Mississippi. Scratch that. I flew down to Oxford, Mississippi to go see my mom and my good friend Victoria of the Super Geek. She lives on the Gulf Coast. Pardon me. And I was like, we need to meet up. And so she and her mom and my mom and myself, we drove to Jackson. So she lives down here. My mom lives up here. And so we were just kind of like, Boop, Jackson. And there's a good little outlet in Jackson. So we're like, well, we'll meet up at the outlet and then we'll go grab lunch. And um, so mom and I got there a little bit or earlier than like Victoria and her mom. Um, so that's what happens when you have to deal with children. I was on vacation and I didn't have to deal with children. Victoria did have to do it, deal with children. And so she got there a little later. Um, but, so what's going to happen is I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, and then you're going to go and watch Victoria's video so that you can see what she got at her bins haul at the same time that um, I was picking. So my mom was like the MVP of this whole trip. I'm not gonna lie. Like she found some killer stuff and I'll point out what she found because <laughs> you're gonna be like, whoa. Okay, so these are really cute little rayon pants and I found the sash separate from the um, pants and I know it matches because it's at the, the cuff down here. So this is by a brand called Long Tall Sally. This is a US 12, UK 16, and this is for like long, tall people. Like these are like the longest women's pants I've ever seen in my life. So like if you're tall and you love this brand, um, then I'm sure that you're always searching for it. So these are really cute little rayon wide leg pants. And I looked up comps while I was there and I'm thinking between like 35 and 40, maybe a little more, I don't know about this print or the style so we will see but it's really cute and very bright which you know i love <sighs> all right next up is this zara dress literally everything is so wrinkled because it was vacuum packed for almost two weeks because i have not unpacked my bag yet because that's my favorite my least favorite part of traveling is to unpack my bag so i just put it off um, as long as possible and 
I took this out of the bag, but I still haven't unpacked it. So anyway, this is a Zara dress, Zara woman. I do pretty well with Zara, considering this was at the bins. Um, and it's like a little leopard print sort of tiered dress. Uh, I thought, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, hopefully get about like 35 or so for it. So, what's next? Um, I think my, I don't know if my mom found this or I found this. It's by brand Chelsea and Violet, which I've never heard of. There were a lot of boutique brands down there. Um, like, I don't know, something about the South. And they love boutiques and there's so much umji and so much, um, like, Oh, what's that brand? I can't remember. If I remember, I'll let you know. It's this little, like, it's a mall brand, and they sell some really cute stuff, but it just doesn't, like, the resale value is not very good. Uh, but this little Chelsea and Violet top has the prettiest little sleeves here. Like, look at that cutout. I think that's so pretty. It's a size medium. I might keep this. I don't know. That's just really cute. I thought I like the way it fits, so I'm going to keep it. There's actually a bunch of stuff for me in here. Like this. <laughs> this is a top by Bordeaux. This is my favorite t-shirt brand. It's um, an anthropology t-shirt brand, and it's got like, it's a v-neck, but it's got like a double layer effect here, and their stuff is like modal, and it's just so soft and comfortable. And it drapes so nicely and it doesn't cling to your rolls and I just really like it so I've been eating a navy blue top and this was it I like that oh this yeah these are so cute and the brand is like nothing special what is this GB no idea what GB is but they're a little wide leg overalls with like the sailor buttons down the whole front. Like how cute is this? So cute. If this was my size, I would get it, but I mean, I would keep it, but I think it's actually, yeah, it's an extra small. Um, it has a pocket, uh, like a wide leg crop. So I thought these were a darling. And I had to get them. What else did I buy? Oh, I bought this for myself. Like I said, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff for myself. This is just like an Amazon brand, Daily Ritual. And it has this like label that looks like it would be sold at Anthropology, but it's just an Amazon thing. And it's like a, this is a romper. Um, but I think it's so cute. It's just like a green romper with an elastic waist and it's like a, I don't know, almost like a French terry type of material, like a mix between a jersey and a French terry. Um, really soft on the inside and I just think that this is going to be really cute and comfortable for lounging around the house or like running errands or something like that. And it's size large and new with tags. So I was happy to find that at the bins. I mean, I don't know how much they go for on Amazon, but I thought this t-shirt was really cute. It reminds me of um, Tori, girly girl style. And the brand is Organic Generation. It is size large, 100% cotton. And it just says, be kind. It's like a crop shirt. And the back says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I might keep this one too. <laughs> what do you want from me? It's cute. It's my size. Um, this one I showed to Tor um, to Victoria, and she said they sell this at Anthropology. The brand is Tallulah. Let me see if I can show you this tag. Okay. Tallulah. And it's just a black t-shirt, but it has these little eyelet flutter sleeves, which I thought were really cute. 
Um, it's a size medium. I have no idea how much it would resell for, but again, I thought it was cute. And by that time that I got to that, I was just like leaning in and just going for it. This is the first thing that I found when I got there. I was just digging in the first bin when we arrived. And down on the bottom was a Spell in the Gypsy Collective um, romper, jumpsuit, romper. Uh, it's like a denim material with like this camo type floral print. It probably had a belt. I looked and looked and did not find the belt. Uh, it does have all the buttons. It's got pockets on the front, pockets on the back, but I mean, that was a pretty fortuitous first find, if you ask me. And what size is this one? Let's see. I don't know. It feels like kind of like a medium, but you know, sometimes that like oversized boho brands, it can be very deceiving. Let's see if it says on here. No, it just says it's 100% cotton. It doesn't say what size, so I'm not sure, but I'm just provide measurements and I have my little dress form with the uh, full body, so that'll be easy as pie to lift. This one I thought was cute. It's a silk. Did I break it? Oh no, that's a top. Okay. It's like, what? Okay, this is a brand called... Sinsara. It's a size large. Made in Sri Lanka. Oh, I thought it was silk. It's actually polyester. It's a pretty nice imitation silk, though. Um, you know, sometimes polyester is, like, very obviously polyester. This kind of has, like, the, the feel of, like, a matte textured silk. Um, but very cute, just little, like, negligee uh, with a ruffled split front here and it has a little like drawstring baby doll waist. I was I love novelty prints. I really do. Um, and I found this one and I was so excited. It's by Porridge, which they used to sell uh, both mod cloth and anthropology. So I'm not sure if this was sold at either of those spots, um, but it's a little rainy day dress just like a sheath dress with a uh, little long sleeves it looks like it's never been worn before so cute so cute i like it okay what is this oh yeah these are little free people beach shorts uh they're an extra small like it's like the size of my like, I know that they stretch, but it's really small. Um, anyway, just kind of like little cheeky shorts with a little ruffle in the back. Um, probably only going to get like 15 bucks for those, but they're cute. And I like the colors, so I brought them home. And what is this? Oh, this is blue and gray. I got this for myself, I think. Yeah, size large. It's just like a two-tone um, top. This top part is like a modal and this is like a rayon. So I think once it's like steamed out, it will be nicer and uh, <laughs> more crisp. But this would just be cute for the fall with like jeans or something. Okay. Oh yeah, this I might have also gotten for myself. This is a swim cover-up. It's by the brand Swimsuits for All. And it's just a little, it's like size 14, 16 polka dot swim cover up. But I really like the shape of it. It's sort of like a swing trapeze sort of shape. Um, and goes just goes down to like the upper thigh, you know. But I thought that was cute. Is I have a polka dot, a black and white polka dot swimsuit. And this would be really cute with that. Okay. Oh, my mom pulls up with this. So she's just like, is this anything? And I'm like, give it to me. 
Um, this is a little Maeve um, jumpsuit. So here is the Maeve tag and it's red. It is a, I mean, obviously it's all crinkly, but it's a wide leg jumpsuit with pockets on the back, little like slip pockets. And then it has, oh my God, it's hard to show. Okay, it has pockets on the front as well here. And then this ties, so it's got like a tie front. You know, I'm sure it's just like a sash. Um, and just like so cute at the bins and it looks pristine like it does not look like it got worn if it did get worn it was like once um really happy to find that i think that was an eight i can't remember though this is a mud cloth top by a brand called cals c-a-l-s um i wouldn't like pay up for this at the thrift store but because we're going into fall and because it's Hufflepuff colors, like if you're in Harry Potter, Hufflepuff is one of the houses. It is my house. Um, yes, and their colors are black and yellow. And so any kind of time I can like sort of tag that, um, like, you know, Harry Potter, Hufflepuff, I might be a little bit more inclined to get it, especially as the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and like all of the Disney stuff sees an influx in um, attendance in the fall because it's like the nicer time of year to go. And uh, so yeah, this is just like a semi sheer little plaid top. And this one I thought I might also keep. Um, this is a medium, so I'm not sure how it's going to fit. It's by this brand, Glam. Just this tiny little tag says Glam. There you go. I've never heard of this brand before, but it's cute. It's almost got like a who, what, where sort of Target vibe to it. It's got the high mock neck. This is all smocked. It's got billowy sleeves with like a smocked cuff to match and then just sort of like that drapey baby doll sort of style so I'll see how this looks on me it could look like I'm like 25 months pregnant or it could look cute um another weird thing about the Jackson bins is that I swear everything smelled like it was freshly laundered like this smells like it was just washed I don't know if you guys have been to the New Hampshire bins. It is not like that. <laughs> Everything is like worn and dirty and sometimes it's like covered in cat hair and I get stuff home and I'm like, okay, it's going straight into the wash. Um, but everything here was like so nice and clean and um, I think it's just a little bit of a southern thing to like make sure you donate clean clothes that's how your mama raised you right uh so this is loft size medium these are so cute little linen shorts with like a drawstring waist and then let me see if i can show you the pant leg here it's got these little giraffes and palm trees and like sunbursts and polka dots um, really cute little pair of shorts. And what else did I buy? What is this? Oh, my mom found this. She rolls up and she's like flashing the label at me. <laughs> and I was like, just throw it in the cart. Um, it is a Halston robe. So let me try this on since they're apparently clean in Mississippi. Um, yeah, so it ties on the inside. Here's the other tie. So I'm going to tie that. This is not my size. Um, but yeah, so it ties closed and then it has an attached um, loop that we put in here. And then we just tie that and then it's got these little like embroidered 
sleeves very pretty with like a sheer touch at the end um, and it's just a polyester robe so it's not silk but nice little blue vintage lingerie sort of piece um, by Halston so I think I did look up um, and it has pockets by the way I did look up sort of comps for other Halston um, lingerie type pieces. This is an extra small, small. And they weren't amazing, but everyone had really crappy photos. So we all know that I take decent photos um, or, you know, good photos. And then I charge what I want. So <laughs> um, when it comes to vintage, all about the presentation. So let's see what else I have. Okay, I have, oh, this I thought was just kind of cute, very like retro-y. This is a tie front top with just like a mixed media sort of print. And this is by Studio Petit Junior. And I feel like this is like a Stitch Fix brand, though I don't know if this is a Stitch Fix piece. I think this is super cute. I might keep it. It's a petite large, which usually fits me really well. So we'll see. Then I found this Anthropology skirt. And I just like saw the new tag. It says buy Anthropology over here. And then I just threw it in my cart. And then later I was sorting my cart and I realized it was new with tags for $98. And I was like, Okay, toss it in. Definitely getting that. Just a really cute, like bright pink skirt with um, buttons, sort of asymmetrical down one side, and then um, sort of kick pleats down at the hem. I like the colors. I like the fabric. It's got a slightly elastic waistband, and I think that's really cute. So I was happy to find that. I also picked up this Free People mini skirt um this is a size 12 and it does have one it has a couple of little spots on it. it has one up here by the top button and then one down here but they seem like the type of stains that will be very easy to get out so i did not hesitate to bring that one home even though it was a bit flawed um I think honestly just like a little spot treatment and then a toss in the wash and it will come out looking amazing. So another free piece. This is a little dress. This is by Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply. It's just like a little viscose, almost like baby doll sort of dress. Um, <clears throat> but it has it has pockets yeah it has pockets and it's got like that deep cut neckline I just thought that was pretty cute and it's you know button front I like the little ditzy floral with the polka dots so brought that home we're only like halfway through this bag you guys and there's more I'm not going to show you the other stuff um, I'm just going to show you this bag but <laughs> brought home a lot of things. This, um, but we kind of waffled back and forth on this and I think that this is a vintage piece, maybe like, two, I don't know, maybe 2000s possibly? It's definitely not any older than the 90s, let's just say that. Um, but it's just got, it's a structured waistband but it has a look to it like it's not and then it's gathered, and then it has this applique down here at the bottom. Um, there is some discoloration on it, but it's a really nice, like, gauzy cotton. And it's really full, um, and it's like this pleasant sage greeny sort of color. So I just kind of took some looks at the construction of it, and um, yeah, I just ended up I ended up bringing it home. I, it doesn't have any tags or markings at all. Yeah, I liked it, so 
and I brought it home anyway. Then I brought home this. For some reason this just really struck me as cute. This is by Gianni Beanie and it's like a it's a top and it's like almost like a bandeau sort of top but can you imagine with like really high-waisted black trousers and then this is like kind of off the shoulder I think that's so cute um and this is like a really pale pink which I think the camera is picking up it's just and it's knit so it's like it's somewhat stretchy and but nicely made uh, and this is a size medium, so I just, I liked that, so I brought that home. Okay, the pile went over. Alrighty. Okay. Next up, I decided to bring home some lime green linen pants. Um, because they were 100% linen, and they are a size 1X. They are missing a button. That's not a problem. I have a gazillion buttons and I'll just put one on that I think is cool. Probably a wooden button. And um, yeah, so these are just like 100% linen pants with pockets. They have elastic at the sides, but the front and the back both have like a structured look. And they're just like, they're chartreuse. They're amazing and they're plus size. And I was like, well, I have to have them. They're also in like pristine condition. So this dress I almost did not get. It's by Miss Look, I think, or something. Oh my god, it's okay. Okay. Miss Misguided. It's by Misguided. It's a US size 10. Oh, that's my size. Well, I'm at like a 10-12. Alright, let's try this on. Okay. <laughs> Is to see at what point they're the same length so right now this is the longer string so I'm gonna guess it ties on the side over here because that's about when they're the same length All right. so we'll tie it over here okay and let's see if I can feather this out a little small in the bust for me, I think, but uh, you'll get the general idea. It goes like that. It's a little ruffly, drapey, probably will look better on a dress form. And then it's got like the ruffled back there. Um, it is just polyester, so it's not like any super nice material, um, but it does have like a sort of flouncy hem. And obviously since it's a wrap, the flounce wraps all the way down. And then you got that little split in the front. So I think that's pretty cute. I imagine it probably would fit like this on like a normal human without giant boobs. But uh, yeah, that's how that's supposed to go. Are you exhausted yet? Victoria was like, you want to do a haul? And I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> I knew this would take forever because I got so much stuff. Um, this is a vintage um, Mexican, well, it might not be. I mean, I don't know. I'd have to look at it. It might not be vintage, but this is like a tube dress from Mexico. It has that uh, beautiful embroidery on it, and um, I just went ahead and tossed that right into the cart. Very, very pretty. Love the colors. Well, definitely made for the tourist train. My mom kept finding Madewell for me too. Um, we just we were in this bin, and we just like kept finding Madewell pieces, and then she kept throwing them to me. And then other people there, like Jackson was like the most chill bins I've ever been to. Everyone was so nice and talkative and like kind. So I was there and my mom's like, oh, another Madewell. And she throws it to me 
and then the lady next to me is like, oh, here's a Madewell, would you like it? <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. So this is a Madewell dress, size large. It's like a tank dress, um, ribbed. Apparently I've been talking for a really long time, so it cut me off, but it is a ribbed sort of knit in like a stripe pattern. And what else did I get? Oh yeah, this is so cute. I think this is that brand I was trying to remember earlier. There you go, Altered State. Um, not a great resale value, but they make some really cute stuff. And this was just something that I just like, I, I just had to have it. It's a jumpsuit and it's got these little buttons here. It's got smocking in the back with a zipper and it's just like a little wide leg jumpsuit with pockets. It feels like a, probably like a rayon poly blend or something like that. Let's see what it says. Okay, it's cotton and po cotton and rayon blend. So that's nice. And it's got a polyester lining. Um, but I mean, just is that cute yellow? I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't sell really well. I think it's really cute. But I'm gonna try that piece anyway. And then this is another Madewell piece. It's a little cactus top. Um, size medium. I think this is the first Madewell piece that my mom found. And it's just like a button down shirt. Love it. You know I love novelty. We're like checking out. My mom just strolls up. I'm gonna have to steam this, but my mom strolls up and she's like, you want a Burberry tie? I'm like, yes, I want a Burberry tie. Uh, so this has, you know, the little Burberry logo. It's got our little silk stuff over here. It's got the Nova check pattern. Um, probably about uh, 45 or 50 bucks, maybe a little bit more than that. Very classic piece for any Burberry lover. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is another Madewell. Um, this is silk and it's like a jumpsuit. It does have a little bit of like a stain here, uh, but it's got these like side cutouts. Hello. And then it buttons up the fronts, I believe. Um, and then yeah, elastic at the back of the waist. So you know, man, jumpsuit, silk, made well. Jackson had it going on. I couldn't leave without getting some of this stuff. This is a Patagonia dress that I found. And I like the colorway. It's a crossover top. These are actually really great for nursing if you like are breastfeeding. Um, but yeah, just like a really cute cotton uh, dress from Patagonia, which Alicia, another reseller from Mississippi, who did not show up because she had to watch an MMA fight. Alicia, I'm looking at you. Uh, she calls it Patagucci. So I got the Patagucci, Alicia. And you didn't get it because you didn't show up. Uh, this is a really cute little vintage dress. This is by, what does this say? Nouveau something. It's got a dry cleaning tag over it. Nouveau. What does that say? Gacer? I don't know. It looks like G-A-C-E-R, but I don't know what that is. Anyway, it's a cotton dress made in India. Really bright, colorful, fun. Got pockets. Um, I think it needed a little work. Maybe like a button was missing or something. I can't remember. Uh, but really, really cute. Really like that. And that one was a size small. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom. This is where some of the really good stuff is. Because I packed my favorite things that I thought were going to make the most money for first. 
and then packed other things on top of it as I thought I had them. My mom found this. <laughs> Johnny was shirt. So cute. Um, I love the stripes, love the patchwork. Let's see. This feels like polyester. Let's see. Oh, it's, oh, it's Cupra Rayon. Uh, it has an extra button in there. Yeah. So I guess that's kind of like a cold rayon. Uh, but just really, really pretty. What size is that? A small. I was like, thanks mom. That's like 75 bucks at least. Ever since I left, my mom has been thrifting. So I think I may have started something. <laughs> Oops. Uh, this is a... Ralph, uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren skirt. It is a size of four petite, but it's 100% linen and it's just like a white A-line skirt. What I really liked about this was that it has a lace-up back, which I thought was very cute. It's like definitely got those um, the nautical vibes, the navy vibes. Um, with like this thick waistband here and I just really like that it's a very nicely made skirt it's got like the blind hem down here at the bottom and I really like that lace up back detail so even though this was heavy and I don't know how much I will get for it I picked that up anyway this was another one that my mom picked up and she's like is this anything and I was like oh yes so she holds this up and I'm like, eh, I'm not like crazy about the pattern, right? It's some kind of like kimono. Oh no, it's a wrap skirt. Um, so here we go. So it's a wrap skirt. Uh, but then she shows me the brand and the brand is Peruvian Connection. And the last Peruvian Connection piece that I sold, I listed it and then I sold it within like an hour um, at a pretty good amount. So I was like, yeah, I will take that. And um, here we are. It's like a sarong style skirt. So thank you, mom. Victoria found this one and then she gave it to me because it needs, damn, it need, needs fixing. Um, this is Jody T of California. This is a 70s brand. I um, really like this brand. Pardon my nails. Uh, but it has a little bit of like spot at the waist or something where it, the zipper's like pulling away. So it needs to be tacked back down, um, or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but there is a damage on here somewhere, but it's like this little rust orange, uh, dress with like a wrap front top and then like a little peplum sort of skirt. Just really cute. Um, oh, here it is. It's got a safety pin through it, but it's got like some damage on the side seam here. So I'll fix that and get it listed in time for fall. It does look like it has a couple of like holes in it. Um, so yeah, this might be like a little wounded bird that gets sold for a good price, but I still think it's adorable. I don't mind wearing wounded vintage and I know other people don't either. So. This I thought was so cute for fall. I, it's just like a boutique. It's Storia. I don't know. I looked up this brand and it's just, it doesn't seem to be anything like crazy, but it's just like this little velvet mini dress with, you know, big sleeves and like the tiered skirt and kind of, kind of like drop waist almost, but I think it's more like a blousey so like this will fit around the waist and then this will be like more blousey and boho-y with the tassels here um but yeah just in really great shape smells like clean laundry i don't know it's like that oh, i'm gonna get it all right and this is what this is another madewell top this one is, it's got some discoloration at the back of the neck, so I'll need to like spot treat that. 
another button down shirt it's got some embroidery on it um and then i think we are going to move into things that i bought at the thrift store um before we left so we went to goodwill and i actually bought a few things at the thrift store this is by the brand american giant which i was only familiar with because i was looking for clothing that was made in america for my husband who um, is trying to buy more things that are made here in the usa and support local production and um these re resell for like around 50 or 60 dollars this one is in like beautiful shape looks unworn nice blue color it's a hoodie um and just really soft i could just tell the quality just by feeling it and then i looked at the tag and i was like oh um yes i remember that brand from looking it up okay last few things here this vintage skirt I thought had real Laura Ashley vibes to it which is why I picked it up it is by a brand called breeches which I've never heard of before I know you can't really see that tag and I'm sorry but I don't want to get up um, and it's just really pretty like a sage green sort of color and I just really like that floral so I paid I think like five dollars for all of these this is a bravado tee, just like a graphic tee I thought would be really cute for styling with some of the pants that I have to list. It's Guns N' Roses. And those resell around like $25-$30 if I'm lucky. And then these were kind of a surprise to me but I could feel that they were really nice. So I looked up the brands. This is by one called Savage Barbell and these are like little booty shorts that are for like weightlifting. That's the back. So that's the front. I mean pretty small and um so these are for like yeah like lifting like professional uh women who lift at the gym and these are a size medium if you can believe it. And um these different prints like resell for different amounts of money but um i'm looking at probably like between 50, 40 and like 60 on the little shorts uh 35 at the worst i think and then these are by another like brand that again it's like weightlifting gear but feminine it's by fleo and it's like a floral pattern so I thought that those were really cute and I paid about five bucks for them and I think that if I could get like 40 to 60 that's a great return on my investment. So I am hoping that between this and the other stuff that I picked up I can sort of pay for my trip, um, pay for my parking, and possibly pay for my bag fee which was a uh, hundred and $35 I think like this my bag was 68 pounds and the smarter thing to do would have been I had to borrow a bag from my mom the smarter thing to do would have been to pack one bag at 50 pounds and check it for $35 and then carry on the other 18 pounds but I didn't want to so I paid an extra hundred dollars <laughs> to transport all this stuff home I was like, at least I'm not inconveniencing my mom. She doesn't have to go to the post office and ship any of this stuff for me. Um, and I'm bringing home pretty much everything. The only thing that I left there that I forgot was a jean jacket that I was going to wear home. Um, and I left it in the dryer because I had washed it because I got it at the bins. And yeah, so that's it. You should see the pile. It's like high next to me. Um, hopefully... I'll be able to make that happen and if not that's okay too. I got some other stuff, some shoes and um, I just had a really good time so that was like the main and important thing. And um, yeah I am going to go now because at this point I filmed three videos and I'm all done. So thank you so much for watching. I love to read your comments if you have anything that you loved, if you have anything to say if you see anything that you like you know shoot me a dm over on instagram and we'll try and work out a price um 
And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.